Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, Princeton Trader here for Mr. Top Step with your Friday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, what I've got up here is a five-minute chart of the uh, of the S and P E mini futures contract. Uh, this morning, you know, you can see this pop up above 1364, up to 1364 half. That was on the GDP. GDP came in, you know. 2.0, you know, versus versus 1.9 is the revision, and you know, GDP with a one handle or a two handle is just not enough to move this economy. And so then the question becomes, is it enough for QE3? But you know, at the end of the day, there's just a lot more questions than there are answers. But we have popped up as high as 1364 half. I was already short. I, I shorted 1362 and scalped it for for a couple of handles this morning. I'm currently flat as I'm doing this. It's uh, about five after nine Eastern time. I'm I'm really looking hard at the 1364 half level to see if that level is going to hold up. I mean, it, as I zoom out, let's do a 15 minute, and I'll and you've really got to look. This this gives you a good idea of where we're coming from. We're coming from 1321 quarter on Wednesday and we're sitting up at 1362 half. So we've done 40 plus handles in about two sessions. So you've really got to start thinking about going into a weekend if you've been long. Are you really going to hold that long through the weekend? If you think the answer to that question is no, and I do think the answer to that question is no, then you're going to see some profit taking at some point today. So I'm looking at 1364 half. I'm looking at getting short again if we fail to make new highs here. And I will be looking at 1353 retest uh, in order to uh, take advantage of that. You can see uh, that the pivots are, are, you know, they're kind of looking like rungs of a ladder. You've got the nine day at 51. 20 day 49, 47 quarter for the daily, 45. So if if you're a bull, you look at that and you say, you know, well, there's a lot of wood to chop on the way down. I absolutely agree with that. I don't expect some dramatic wily e. coyote going off a cliff pullback today. I do expect some profit taking back into this major support zone here from 1351 to 1345. Uh, let's uh, let's do support and resistance while we're talking about this. Current trade 13.61.5. On the upside, you've got 13.72.75, uh, 13.64.5, 13.67, 13.72.5, 13.76, 13.79.70, 13.82. On the downside, you've got 13.54.5, 13.51.5. 1347 quarter, 13.45. Okay, I've thrown up a daily chart real quick here, just at the end of the video. The green line here is the middle Bollinger Band, the 20-day simple moving average. You need to see that line hold up uh, on on a pullback. That's 13.52. So that is that's the top edge of the uh, of the multi-layered pivot resistance. So you want to see that that hold up if you're if you're a bull because you want to hold uh, the middle band for a move up potentially to 1378, which is your upper band. If you're a bear, you want to get back below 52 and stay below 52 in order to to make a run back down. But I think you know, absent a little intraday pullback here, I think the longer term picture is we're going to go up and try to challenge uh, the 13. Uh, uh, 75, 76 area, and are going to try to pop through this Bollinger Band up at 1378. So, you know, intermediate term, I'm bullish. Although, you know, with 40 handles in two days, I I'm looking for a pullback today. All right, everybody, you stops, be hedged. Mike Vaki, Princeton trader for Mr. Top Step. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll see everybody Monday morning. Trade them well.